bittersweet for you guys and it was a victory and comfortable enough, but the, the little detail was missing, wasn't it? Yeah, uh, you know, for us heading into this game, we knew that Namibia will uh, bring forward a, a physical challenge, but for us it wasn't about how we won, oh, it wasn't about the win, it was about how we, how we won and how we played. And, you know, especially the middle part of that game, it was a little bit frustrating how we weren't able to put the phases together that we wanted, um, down to us dropping our skill level a bit, but also Namibia put us under pressure at the breakdown and um, you know how they defended. So um, we've got to take our hat off to how they played, but you know going forward, I'm, I'm sure we need to um, you know, pay attention to detail and just get our basics right. Because you know every side is going to bring something to them. I mean, that Namibia did what every other side's going to do. To you. Yeah, exactly. And um, you look at the next two games that we have, Tonga and and Georgia. They're really abrasive physical teams and. We're going to come up against the same thing that we had last week and tonight. So uh, I think the next eight days, we'll, or seven days, we're we'll, uh, really going to improve our you know, going into contact, our breakdown, and uh, how we how we get about our game. Do you think Steve's going to get a bit of a roast behind closed doors? Do you think he's going to be pretty unhappy with that? Yeah, we um, we have standards in the All Blacks, and um, you know. For patches in that game, we didn't really reach those standards, so I'm sure the coaches will have something to say about that. But you know, for us, we know the players don't need the coaches to say it. We we know ourselves that we haven't we, have, we haven't played to our potential. So um, individually and and as groups, we need to um, hopefully head into Georgia with a the better state of mind and how we want to play. Game with a tight hamstring, how's that come through? No, it was good. It wasn't. Uh, Anything major? It was it was just a minor niggle that I had, uh, that I felt after the Argentinian game. Um, I always I, I was always confident that I could play. It was just a uh, precaution that the coaches uh, management took. So uh, when Liam's injury came up, I was I was happy and I felt good. How was that bittersweet moment? You know, Liam, your best mate, still waiting for his first World Cup game. Yeah, well, when he gets his chance, I know he will nail it. But um, you know, for us, it's just a matter of us working together, being competitive towards each other, and whoever gets their chance, they've got to nail it. Yeah, they did, but um, it's nothing that we're not accustomed to now. Uh, most teams, especially from the Northern Hemisphere, bring that that kind of uh, line speed. I think um, that was a pleasing thing, especially in that first time that we were communicating what was going on and we're coming up with um, answers. You know, um, obviously uh, the execution probably wasn't the best at times, but. Um, it's been something that we've been working on at training, just making sure we look and see and, and communi communicate the, the right cause, not just a whole lot of uh, nonsense and, and head noise, you know. So, um, Although it wasn't it wasn't pretty, we'll, we'll take the win. Well, at some stage, like you guys really cut loose, and then you and Malachi, great combination, you know, you were making games, making good progress. Oh, I think most of the boys, um, you know, there were times when we were getting that um, lightning quick ball, and uh, you know, boys were, all the boys were making inroads. But then there were times when um, Namibia, you know, were, were slowing us down. And, it, and like I said earlier, their captain was leading the way, so I thought it was tremendous for him. Um, and uh, we, I'll be uh, watching on uh, with interest um, <laughs> at some of the contacts that he gets. Throughout the uh, tournament, so Sorry. the Thanks fellow, the, the boy can hit. Thanks, Evan. Sorry, so we have to go. One, uh, one question we have to just go. Is it nice for you to put out two consistently high performances at this tournament? Oh, I think you know. Um, I, I've, I stated earlier um, to other media that you know, there's we got four uh, top quality centers in our squad, and we're all fighting for positions, and that just goes throughout the squad. You know, whoever dons that jersey, the other boys are going to be preparing them as well as we can because um, you know, we want to go far in this tournament and we know that it's not just out on the games, it's, it starts during the week. So um, it's that whole self, selfless um, attitude and that's, um, I know in the midfield we've got that going on really well. So um, hopefully the, whoever dons the midfield jerseys um, in the next few games plays well. So that's what we're looking to do. Thanks, Jeff. Cheers, boys. Thanks. Thanks.